This is a case we did recently, um, and again, primarily was done by the fellow of a patient with a separate ostium of the middle cardiac vein in the coronary sinus. And so you can see here we're doing the balloon venogram. So how do we get to this point? We started off applying counterclockwise torque to the braided core of the sheath uh, and engaged this structure here. And with contrast, uh, and we advanced the glide wire down in and saw that we were in this large middle cardiac vein and you can start to see that there are branches going to the lateral wall. Um, so we put in a balloon uh, and we're doing a, an occlusive balloon venography and now we see where the true CS is up there. So we're looking at it in multiple views to try to figure out how we're going to get in there uh, and whether we should uh, actually try to implant down here somewhere and try to get into the lateral wall this way or to go back up into the coronary sinus. So ultimately we decided to go up into the true coronary sinus. And so to do this, we use the vertebral vein selector, advance that down into the coronary sinus over a glide wire, took the glide wire out, and then through the vein selector, uh, we deposited um, the Cook Amplatz wire. And remember, it's important to use a Cook Amplatz uh, wire because it's the only one with a J-tip that has a short taper. Otherwise, you don't really have any wire support. And, and also notice that the vein selector fits through uh, the braided core of the whirly sheath. So once we get to this point, we now have the Amplatz wire stabilizing uh, the sheath in the middle cardiac vein, and we'll take out the braided core, and now with the Amplatz wire here, we'll advance uh, the vertebral shaped vein selector beside the Amplatz wire and with that, we're able to engage uh, the true CS with a vein selector. And then we, we'll, we take the vein selector up into the coronary sinus. And you'll note that there are no lateral wall branches uh, off the CS in this area because this part of the, of the uh, left ventricle uh, is being drained into the middle cardiac vein. All right, so then uh, we then... Uh, wanted to get our Amplatz wire into the true CS rather than the middle cardiac vein. So we took the uh, Amplatz wire out of the middle cardiac vein and then put it into the vein selector, which was in the CS. And so now we have um, the Amplatz wire in the CS and we're taking the vein selector out. So now we're relying on the Amplatz wire uh, to stabilize the sheath. So at that point, we want, now want to get in to, to put in a lead, so we're going to advance the vein selector beside the wire, beside the Amplatz wire, and over a glide wire. So here you can see the glide wire loop back, and so we're advancing the vein selector over the glide wire and into the true CS. And then from there, once we're in, we'll take the vein selector uh, up to where the target branch we identified earlier, uh, engage that branch with the vein selector, confirm with a puff of contrast, and again, all the while the uh, Amplatz wire is stabilizing your sheath, advance a wire down through the vein selector, then advance the vein selector over the wire, and then from here, we'll do a selective venogram with the vein selector to confirm that we're actually in the branch that we want to be in and also look for any other branches uh, that might be suitable. We didn't see any other suitable branches except for this one which really had a terrible takeoff. Um, and so we're now going to put a second, uh, once we do our, we're going to put a second wire and now this is the V18 control wire which is really nice and stable um, the V18 control wire, as I've said before, makes the Iron Man seem like a wet noodle. So we advance the V18 control wire, and that gives us support for the vein selector. Um, and then over the vein selector, we can advance the renal subselector. Okay, so the wire stabilized um, 
vane selector provides the rail over which to advance the subselector. Now when you do this, you want to make sure you check to see how the sheath is doing. So we're going to snug the sheath up uh, in, into the CS as far as it'll go. And now we have the vane selector here. We have the subselector all the way to there. Um, and we get our wires back out. And now we've, we've taken the vane selector out. We still have two wires in here. And remember, there's not enough room in here for two for two wires in the lead, so you have to take one, of the, take one of the wires out, one of the wires out, lead in, and you can see you're pretty much guaranteed to get the lead at least as far as the tip of the vein selector, which was all the way out here earlier. And so there we have uh, the implant. Hope you find this useful. Any questions, please uh, text me or write email. Thanks.